Battles between peasants and fascists broke out in towns and villages throughout Aragon immediately after July the 19th, 1936. In many of the villages, the peasants fled to escape the persecution of the fascists. Later, when the anti-fascist columns entered Aragon from Catalonia and the Levant, the towns and villages were liberated from the civil guards and fascists. The peasants returned to their homes. A social transformation then took place that was not equaled anywhere else in Spain for its depth and organisation. Unlike Catalonia, distribution of land in Aragon did not make for very great extremes of wealth and poverty. The majority of the people were small farmers, tenant farmers and sharecroppers. Sharecroppers worked for the few large landholders, as did the landless day labourers. Both these groups had to find work in the cities for many months of the year because Mother Earth could not feed them. The war tended to eliminate even these extremes rather quickly, for as the popular militia advanced, the large landholders and the fascists fled the region. Very few remained to work with the peasants. The people of the villages held general town meetings in the public plazas and agreed to expropriate the lands of the fascist landholders. Other land was also collectivised or turned over to the village. The people agreed to work together in collectives in almost all the liberated communities. 500 towns and villages with a population of approximately half a million people established collectivism, a type of economy and social system unknown in modern Europe until then. The transformation of private property into a system of collective property was accomplished in a relatively short time and to a surprising degree. Collectivisation in Aragon constituted a final stage in the transformation of rural life that had been fought for since the start of the Republic in 1931. The agrarian reform offered by the Republic provided no help for the rural proletariat. Very few large landholders were expropriated under the banner of reform. Only the lands belonging to the church or religious orders were taken over. These were distributed among a relatively small number of peasant families but the rural masses continued to live in misery. When the power of reaction was destroyed after July the 19th, 1936, the peasants realised their ideal, collectivisation. Communes also took control of the land in all the towns and villages of loyalist Spain, but the process of collectivisation did not develop as far anywhere else in Spain as it did in Aragon. Collectivisation was not ordered by the state or imposed by force as in Russia. The great majority of the peasants supported the ideals of the social revolution. Their goal was to produce collectively and to distribute the product of their labour with justice to all. No one issued a proclamation for a particular type of collectivisation. There were no decrees, no government commissions to issue orders, no official orientation to direct the peasants. They acted according to their intuitions. An active minority led the way. The ideal of libertarian communism was strong among the peasants. It was striking to see how the peasants could hit the nail on the head with their clear, humane thinking, even though they did not have a great deal of theory or deep knowledge. With the intuition that people have in exceptional times, the rural population went to work to construct a new life. News of the collectivisation and libertarian communism in Aragon spread throughout the country but the actual content of the collectivist life in Aragon was not known elsewhere in Spain or abroad. The description of how they were organised, how they reached understandings, had not yet been written. The story of the social revolution in Aragon after July 19th was not yet told. However, what took place in Aragon is of greatest importance to the World Socialist Movement. More than half a million peasants, impelled by necessity, by their misery and their ideals, took destiny into their own hands. Equality, liberty, fraternity, the great dreams of the French Revolution, have not yet been realised in the world. They were being realised in Aragon. The peasant was free from political oppression and the exploitation of the great landholders. Liberty was won in battle. Equality was organised. Fraternity lived in the hearts of the people.